Yeah. Yeah, man. Shalom. Let us start off by giving no praise to the Heavenly Father. Yahweh, Barashan, Yahushan, Barashan, Kapodash, Tashim, Kapodash. Double honor unto the apostles, the elders of the millstone, <clears throat> that were well and told us the truth. And so they told us to say, Rahmat, that I believe in Yahweh, Barashan, Yahushan, Shalom. Yeah, man. I'd like to go into uh, you know, the book of. Uh, Exodus a bit, like the 12th chapter concerning the, the shop and the, um, the Feast of Unleavened Bread, man, because this is really, uh, you, know, it's, you know how it goes, man. You, you have certain things in your mind, but the spirit is just like going in a certain direction. But it's uh, important to uh, touch up uh, on certain things, because this is our history, man. Mm -hmm. It's very important. And the Pesach, a lot of people, they think, oh, this is just a lamb dinner. But it's not just a lamb dinner, man. It's just disrespectful by uh, even uh, calling it that. Because you have people like, uh, you know, uh, among other camps, you know, not needed to be uh, named. You, you already know who, who these demons are that are selling their own people out, you know, pushing uh, Esau his, uh, his sword like it's something that you should get uh, be defended by. Look, man, we trust in Yahweh Basham and Shine, man. That's what it is. And we, during the Pesach, we think about. What the Heavenly Father did on uh, did uh, for us when we were in the hands of our enemies, man. You know that's very important. We celebrate the the, the death, basically. I don't mean like hey, maybe throw it down because you like, oh, yeah. you know, he saw me jumping it all uh, on us. Because if you take take a look at what they do, then it's uh, okay. But when we say like we celebrate the death of, of our enemies and our, uh, our uh, you know, basically the the. the uh, Celebrating that we got out of the land of our captivity that day, out of Egypt, by the hand of Yahweh Bashar. But when these devils celebrate their Columbus Day, mm -hmm. this mass murder, you know, their their uh, Thanksgiving, you know, mass murder, you know, when they think about that and celebrate it and put it in your face, you, you take someone's freaking land. And then you, you celebrate the murder of the people that you took the land from and you put them in uh, reservations, reservations, man. They could, and that's the hypocrite spirit of the devil, man, that, that proud spirit of the devil, and that, that spirit that is, you know, measuring the two. Basically, he has double standards, man, to just put it out there and do it straight. Yeah, man, these devils are like that, man. You know, but let, let us jump into... Um, the book of uh, Exodus 12. Uh, yeah, I started with 11. Okay. Exodus chapter 12, verse 11. And this shall you eat it with your Lord's garden, your shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and you shall eat it in haste. It is, a, is, a, it is your house Passover. Yeah, man. No, don't forget, man. This is not just uh this is not uh, get get to be like oh yeah you know chilling out we were uh, about to you know get out of the, get out of that hellhole man we need to be quit is this uh, yeah what did you want to say? say it's the seven seven man come you know this there's there's no bullshit in it sure mm -hmm. because we have to really understand the situation mm -hmm. it was it was not combined man the only call was like hey keep the keep the feast do what I say and I'm living. Girl. And we should deliver because, like the brother said, we have to understand this was the downfall of, of Egypt. The whole country destroyed, you know, hey, and all of the firstborn, because then be sent to the people. Yeah, you know, man. You know, the nobles, so when you think about it, the noblest people who were in high positions were the firstborn. You know, like, the, it, especially in Egypt, too, they wanted the, the Pharaoh wanted the son, and they groomed the son to do what? To be an heir. You know, a lot of pharaohs were first born. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, man. But this this goes into like uh, you know what you said, man. Like the firstborn of the the ones that were in rulership in that day, man. So imagine it's good that you said that because it made me think about look. In this uh, country, you have uh, you know the, the, the peasant that is the king right now, <laughs> and he has old daughters. That's the funny part. <laughs> but it does, not that that's a bad thing. But for now, you know, it's also like hey. It doesn't even matter, even if he had some, but it's yeah. funny. It's funny to me. Because he tried, man, because he has three daughters. So he you know he's yeah. trying to get a son. Because you know these devils also know that when you have a, a, a small uh, you may have a girl, 
she takes on the name, the name of the one that does she's been given unto man. So they know that man. That's why these companies that are not in sons, you know, they know it. But they're teaching you like, hey man, it doesn't matter. But they know. They want to destroy you and keep their bloodline pure. They keep so pure that they and they, they yeah man yeah. inbred children and shit man looking all funny eyes all you know uh, close to each other you know big ass ears yeah man Down syndrome yeah that type of stuff man yeah. but yeah man from verse twelve Exodus twelve and twelve and it says so I will pass through the land of Egypt this night and I will, and will smite all the firstborn in the land of Egypt. Both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgment. I am Yahweh. Yeah, man, because the Most High, He made Pharaoh great, so that the rest of the nations would see that there's only one power when Pharaoh is going, you know, was about to be you know, uh, smoked down of this uh, throne, basically, man, by the miracles that the Most High did by the hand of his uh, prophet, uh, you know, through Moses. Because Moses was, was speaking about, hey, if you don't let my people go, the Heavenly Father, I'm just, I, he's, the, he's the prophet, man. He was prophesying about the consequences that were coming to the land of Egypt if the the, the Pharaoh, the Pharaoh did not hearken uh, to the words of uh, the Heavenly Father, man, through Moses. This is Romans with the number 17. But scripture God. said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised me up. I was just in my mind. Yeah, probably, yeah. Even for this same purpose have I raised you up, that I might show my power in you, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Yeah, man. So it's all to 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 establish basically once again, because you know. The Most High, when he makes moves, he gonna do it good, man. Everyone will know who the Most High is, man. So he's gonna mm -hmm. let the let the, uh, uh, the prophets prophesy to this, uh, you know, man that thinks he's uh, uh, you know a, a strong power that is mightier than the Heavenly Father. He didn't, you know, how they were back in the days, man. They worshiped all types of idols, bad faces and, and swallow faces or whatever they. The the the, the Morris, yeah man, Morris, yeah man, and Lucas, God. Yeah. In the book, in the letters of uh, Jeremiah, explaining that these, these things have no power, man. Yeah. Cat faces on them and stuff, but if he fall, fell down, you know, they can pick themselves up, man. They yeah. catch dust, you know. They very being formed with man's hands. They're not more powerful than the man that made them, man. Somebody can come steal them, God. Yeah, yeah man. And there's no protection for them. Rust and must. Yeah, man. Uh, I said rust and must. Uh, rust Ma, and uh, Ma, Ma and rust. Yeah. Yeah, man. Go so going back to Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. And the blood shall be up to you for a token upon the houses where it where So that you remember it again. And the blood shall be, to, shall be to you for a token upon the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you, but I will smite the land of Egypt. Yeah, man. So you need to get a lamp and take the blood and put it upon the, the upper doorpost and uh, you know, in the in the side so that the like the scripture said that the destroyer, you know, would not uh, come and uh, destroy your uh, firstborn man, not uh, judge you, basically. You know, and that shows you that the ones that did that, that did. Uh, put the blood upon their doorposts that they have faith in the Heavenly Father. And that that is basically, if you take a look at it, the same thing is going to be happening now. But now, uh, the ones that are in the spirit of the Ahab Basham Yashai, they're going to be marked to the spirit with that mark uh, that, means, that goes into Tawa in the book of Ezekiel, man. Meaning exempt, to be uh, exempt from judgment. You know? So it all has to do with you having faith in your Basha and your Shai. And that faith is a gift, man. Yeah. To the can you get that the good in the Jesus two and uh eight and eight days. Yeah. But is equal also. Go on. But come back to Uh yeah, go to Exodus and uh yeah, just continue about that. Yeah, yeah where you were left in Exodus chapter twelve and verse fourteen. This day shall be unto you for a memorial. 
and he shall keep it a feast to Yahweh for two generations. He shall keep it a feast by the by an ordinance forever. Okay. Okay. Seven days shall you eat unleavened bread. Even the first day he shall put away leaven out of the houses. Yeah, man, that's what we're doing right now. The spiritual at the shop, you know. And now the Feast of Unleavened Bread is, is connected with it, man. After the Pesach, we go into the Feast of Unleavened Bread, you know. And that's what we keep right now. We, we're getting rid of the, 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 the all the leaven. Because, you know, it's also, you know, in the beginning, you're stressed, like, hey, I need to get this out. And the outside feels clean. Mm -hmm. But when you come back, it feels good, man. And also in the spirit, because you, you, you go to the ceremony of the Pesach, you know, you're being with brothers, you know, talk about certain things. and. You know, then uh, uh, the sacrifice until Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shine. Because Yahweh Shine is the man. Yahweh Shine, you know, he broke bread with the, the, with the disciples, later apostles, man. And you, that's how you see that he was also keeping the Pashat, man. You know, and we need to do the same thing because it's forever. So people that say, like, oh, the Old Testament is old, Yahweh Shine killed. So what about that, you know? All generations. Yeah, it's to all generations, to all generations, man. So that's until you know this one. <laughs> you know? God, and we're gonna keep it. I was just about to say the same yeah, thing. Say it, you're gonna say it, man. Yeah. All generations is gonna be done in the kingdom of heaven also. That's right, that's what I want to say, man. It's great. All generations, man. God. God. Yeah, yeah. Let me Ephesians very right quick. So God. God. Yeah, just put that comment. This is Ephesians 2 and verse 8. Uh, for by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourself, it is the gift of the Most High. Yeah, man. So, to a. Can you read it again? Yeah. 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 This is Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8. For by grace are ye saved. For by grace are ye saved, man. It's through the mercy of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, man. Through faith. To faith, God. You just believe in it. God. That not, and that not of yourselves, it is the gifts of the Most High. Yeah, man. So this is not of, of, of men. You know, this is all, this all to the spirit of Yahweh Basham Yahushai. Because the Heavenly Father gave his elect in the hands of his son, Yahushai, man. For, the, for uh, he, he was speaking about it in uh, John, he did it in uh, Thou was not chosen me, and for those who. God has given into my hands. You can start with the. Uh, so when, when, you, when you think about it, it says not and not and that not of yourself. So that means that you didn't you didn't choose to have faith. The Lord gave you that faith. Then He goes to say it is the gift of the Most High. So it's nothing that you chose. It's not of yourself. You know the Most High gave you that faith, and then you see brothers that so fervent. About that, that's a gift. You know, then you see the opposite. So people, people who are so away from this truth, and you, you then you understand like this, this, this word is a gift, man. This faith, yeah. this understanding is truly a gift because there are some people who are so far from it that they, they're just doomed for destruction. You know, it's a gun. Can you go jump to uh, two precepts in John 15 and uh, 16? Yeah, and then to John 17 uh, and 6. Verse, uh, no, I want to go to. Uh, yeah, go to six also, and then jump to verse nine. Uh, Fourteen and six. Yeah, John chapter fifteen. Yeah, and verse sixteen. And it says, "Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and have ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. That whatsoever you should ask of the Father in my name, He may give it to you." Yeah, man. So there you see, like, can okay, you read from the top again? It's yeah. not about like that. These Christians say, you know, have you uh, given your life unto the Lord? You know, like you have, like you lay there, and you're like you know what? I'm gonna give my life to the Lord today. You know, <laughs> I feel so strong, man. It is all by the will of the Heavenly Father to pre, uh, you know, you being preordained. So before uh, it was uh, already set up before, man. Before you were born, even man, in the womb. Boom, already there. In your previous lives, man, if you were a man of the Lord then, you're going to be it now, man. If you were a prophet then, you're a prophet now, man. It's not like, oh, like this devil is saying, like, oh, you can be a bird or whatever. That's some nonsense, man. Because there's different types of flesh, man. 
you know, you have the flesh of, of men, of, uh, of uh, beasts, of fowls, or the fish, man. The Book of Corinthians uh, destroyed the whole uh, doctrine of, uh, you know, uh, that, that, that evolution, man. But it's a bunch of nonsense, man. Huh? Because I got the word of day. God. Because um, you said pre, which means before. God. And ordain means to appoint or admit to the ministry of the church of the same. Also to decree and act, but now comes it. Um, from, from stem of old French ordainer, place and order arranged. So it's a prearrangement. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah, if I arrange it from the beginning, the two is very long. Right. Right? Yeah. You know? That's right. God. Yeah. It says you put in order, arrange. Yeah, man. Point. Well, See, no point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. man. That's what it is, man. So yeah. you can't appoint yourself to be in the Lord's military. It's like you can't appoint yourself. You, they got to accept you. You got to go through some things. You got to go through basic. And they say, yeah, you can do it. You got to qualify. You got to do the thing. Yeah. So the same thing with the Lord. You can't just say, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and be the Lord's. No, man. You got to. He's going to give you that spirit. And you're going to prove it. Yeah. He's going to prove it through through what? Through trial and error. Through, through, yeah. through things that are afflictions, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. So reading John 15, 15 again. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And I'll thank you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain, that whatsoever you should ask of the Father my name, he may give it to you. Yeah, my so chosen to be a man of the Lord, you know, and, and to uh, go out there and teach. It's all through the spirit of the Heavenly Father, man. You know? And your fruit, you know, like to say that the tree is uh, basically you know uh, the tree by its fruits. So if your wicked piece is done, you're gonna see that the men are under you, whom are under you, are gonna act like you, man. So if you're a bad example, you're 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 gonna influence basically what you bring up, man. You're gonna put certain a seed in them, basically to your false doctrine. But hey, also on the flip side of that. The ones that that um, it's more like when you have when you have like different camps, you know that if the leader is fucked up, the congregation is going to be messed up for the uh, uh, basically large majority. Because you see the apostles doing the thing, man. You know this is straight out of the scriptures. It's no, no bullshit. It's just truth. No, no, no softening up. It's just straight hardcore truth, man. Because the truth shall make you free, man. It's not. Lies are uh, nothing of the, uh, you know, lies are nothing that you should basically uh, base your life for, man. Because these devils do that. And what does that bring you? It brings you death, confusion, you know. It brings you all types of uh, things that are not beneficial unto the spirit, man. That's what it is. You're staying spiritually dead, basically. You are not adapting yourself to the, to the, to the truth. So you can stay in your, your wicked ways. Because you're lying to, 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 basically you're following lies, man. Because these devils don't want you to grow. And if people keep being paid off, you're basically prolonging the devil is giving them. That's basically what you're doing. Because if this truth, this gospel is going to be uh, spread no matter what. But this gospel needs to be spread in truth, in sincerity and truth. Just like you need to worship the Heavenly Father in sincerity and truth. So how can you come with him with, with lies, man? But the ones that are truly of Yahweh Basham Yahushai, you know, there must be Daniel, Daniel heresies among us, man. And the ones that are going to be confirmed, boom, most I just pick some up with the truth, man. Because we all watch the other camps, you know, and, and, and come from Christianity, and the most I just put us, like, picked us up and put us in the truth. So we know the difference, man. Um, but can you jump down? I don't know. Uh, John chapter 17, verse uh, 6. Was it from there? No, 14 or 6. Um, let me read. It says, I have manifested thy name unto the men. Let me read it again. John 17 and 6. I have manifested my, thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. You see, so it's, it's all to the Heavenly Father that gave his elect into the hands of the, the Heavenly Father's Son, Yahweh Shaman. Yeah, how is in charge, man? And, and yeah, man. Come. Um, so, yeah, you finished. Uh, it says, "Thine they were, and thou givest to me, and they have kept their word." Yeah, man. You see, so thine they were, 
So they were always of the heavenly father, man. From the jump, from the beginning, man. Before uh, every way. Yeah, man. It's all, like the brother read, man, it's all pre-arranged, man. The heavenly father created you to be a man of the Lord. Oh, no, man. This is how it is, man. Yeah, it's reason. Kind of, it was by the Spirit, because I, I pulled this one. Come, uh, uh, John 14 and 6. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Verse 7. If he had known me, he have, you should have known my Father also. And from henceforth ye know him and have seen him. So it's, it's just confirming what the brother was saying. What I can say is just that there, this was already ordained, you know. So it's no, it's no we decide or other people decide for you. The Lord already showed you. He has to show you. From mm -hmm. the father, and then he told me how shy this is this and this, yeah. You know? So, it was already pre arranged, yeah. And, um, going back to John chapter 17 and uh, verse 9, I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are done. So, you see, it for God, and there, there's a distinction between you know, I pray for them and. Uh, pray not for them, but what was it? I pray for them, I pray not for the world. Yeah, man. So I pray for them, I, not for the world, man. Because there's different, uh, uh, you have three types of uh, worlds, man. Yeah, you have Oiko, the, 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 basically the, yeah, the, the globe. You have, uh, Cosmos, that's like that arrangement, man. And then we went in the in that word, uh, being preordained, that means prearranged. You know, a harmonious arrangement that goes into, you know, uh, where the Hawash was praying for, the world of Israel, man. That's what it is, man. And you have uh, uh, Eon, which is a age of uninterrupted rulership, man. That's what Esau is, uh, this is Esau's world right now, man. You know? So he is the one that is ruling right now, and we need to suffer it and you know do our best to get you know better and to uh to basically we need to strive for perfection. He birthed even as my uh, father in, uh, in heaven is birthed now. Now, do you get that by cleansing yourself through the word and doing it, applying it in your life, man, to the best of your ability? Because all our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. We don't uh. We're not able to do everything perfect, you know. And you know, we spoke about that during the Pasach, uh, you know, after the, you know, all uh, the mm -hmm. ceremony as well, man. And before it also, man. Yeah. You know, and that is also something that you need to be able to accept. You can't do everything perfect, man. Yeah. But she's gonna want it. And I was tripping here in the house, but hey, man, demons can jump on you as well when we, we, you overdoing it, man. Don't be overly righteous. You know, why should I, uh, yeah, destroy that stuff, man. Yeah, man, that's here, that's the scripture right there, man. It's, it's, the most high is all about balance, man. So don't overdo it and destroy yourself, man. Do the things that are, uh, that are within the strength, you know, through the spirit of the Heavenly Father. And do the things that are, uh, you know, keep it simple. Like the Apostle uh, Gabar says, man, kiss. <laughs> you know, that's what it is, man. Keep it simple, stupid. <laughs> yeah, man. Come. Yeah. Um, basically, you 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 read that uh, for they are dying. Yeah. Yeah. Can you jump down to um, uh, to verse fifteen? Let's see. Yeah. The good one. What I want to talk about? Yeah, John fifteen. And uh, did you read that? Fifteen, sixteen. Gone. Yeah. Yeah, that is basically gone. You can jump back man. And uh, Oh, it's Lachia, man. Verse 24 from uh, John. You're still there? Yeah, no. John 17 and uh, 24. And it said, John 17 and 24. Father, I will the day also, whom thou hast given me, be with me where I, where I, it's like where I am. That they may behold my glory, which thou hast given me, for thou lovest me before the foundation of the world. You see, so it's again, you know, 
again established that the Heavenly Father gave the elect into the hands of Yahweh Shai. The, the ones that are uh, believing in Yahweh Shai, those are given into the hands of, that's what I'm going to say, in the hands of uh, true Yahweh, placed into the hands of his son. You know, and that is really what it is about, the elect man. It's the ones that are chosen, elect those men. The ones that are, are, are preordained to make it and to go through this uh, hellhole. Of course, some of us, you know, uh, uh, won't see that, but some of us are going to be put to death, man. Mm -hmm. You know, when you read in Revelation, uh, the 20th chapter, some of us are going to be beheaded, you know, for not going to take the mark of the beast and not be uh, part of this whole beast system, man. Because these devils want to kill the ones that are not uh, complying and not uh, bound down to their status quo, man, to their the rules and regulations which are based upon wickedness. And a uh, righteous man is an abomination uh, to, to these uh, evil uh, satanic uh, people, man. Mm -hmm. Like the scriptures say, man. God, as, as they are an abomination unto us, we are an abomination unto them. Yeah, man. Because it's, it's, a, it's a war. God. We are at war, man. That's right. We are at war. God. You know? You still have the Exodus? I'm going to jump back. Uh, what did you have? Did you have, did you have a precept? What did you say? Yeah, it's in Proverbs 19 and what was 27. Right. I'm going to read here. It's uh, Proverbs 29 and 27. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, and he that is upright in the way is an abomination to the wicked. Yeah, man. So that it really explains it. Like, if you're doing things that are Right, and the eyes of the Father, these people look at you like, you know, they don't like you because they have demons on them that, you know, make make them look at you like, hey, you know, or they don't believe in Yahweh Basham Shai. So he's like, hey, man, this guy's crazy, this guy is out of it, and they put all types of names on you, call you out of your name because for the for the son of man's sake, man, because you follow after Yahweh Shai, man. You know, Yahweh Shai. He admonished uh, us, you know, in the book of Luke and many other uh, chapters about, you know, that basically when they do that, you should be happy, man. Mm -hmm. and if, if they don't, and, and if they praise you, you should be scared, basically, because with the false prophets back in the day, they were glorifying them, man. Yeah. Because said today, hey, because when you see the videos and the amount yeah. of views and the amount of followers that yeah. these, these camps that are teaching both. I'm not gonna say, but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So you teach your lies. And yeah. teach our people to go astray. They get in follows. Yeah, of they course. They get in reverence, especially from the from from Eve, man. Yeah, of course. Put it high for the dude. This yeah. is the real brother right here. Because they can do all this shit. They can stay up on their nonsense. But, yeah. but for the heavenly father, you need to change, man. You need to change uh, your ways, and that's what uh, Jacob want to do. Jake wanted to be stuck in, uh, you know, they want all the the birds basically. But they don't want to change. They want, they want that title on Israelite. Uh, you know, they want to be uh, with, with these people that are, are in large groups. But it's not about large numbers, man. You know, it's not about that. Man. There's many vessels that, uh, that uh, earthly, uh, many, like with the dust in the second Exodus 8, mm -hmm. many, uh, like, dust were of earthly vessels, man. But it's a little bit, you know, like the goal, that's like, like scarce, man, compared to the to the dust and to the clay, you know, just to say it like that. Yeah. That's why gold is precious, man. And we are being refined as gold, and that is, um, you know, putting us in a in a, in a situation of being uh, afflicted. You know, it is all about getting you through hardship and making you stronger, man, and, and making you a better judge, make you able to. Recognize certain situations, you know, discern certain uh, situations because of your experience. Yeah. You know, and through hardship, you're going to be tough enough, man. If you spoil spoil a child, you know, and the most high sees as a son. So if you if you being spoiled as a son, man, if you spoil your own children, they're going to be messed up, man. But if you teach them that it, uh, you know you can't get everything you want, but then if you give them something, they're going to be happy. Why? Because it's something special. And for these people, man, hey, these people, they even teach you, like, oh, don't chastise your son and such and such. 
this, that shows you that they are also against the Bible because the Bible teaches about chastisement and about uh, you know uh, being a reproof and correct. Yeah, and these people don't want that, like we mentioned in the previous video, because they want you to be all docile and in the world and being in the in the spirit of uh, this world. You basically, the, yeah, man, living in darkness, doing whatever the hell you want, you know, as long as if it's not for righteousness' sake, man, because they uh, they loathe that uh, that man. The order, which is the true verse. Yeah, you also know, that, of course. somebody points out, and then the, it's in the written in the scriptures that you were doing wicked things, and then you put it in their face, it, it hurts them, you know, it cuts mm -hmm. their spirit deep, you know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to add one to one point that you mentioned yeah. because we're speaking about the, these other camps, these 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 for some of these females out there because they can do what they want. All of the comic boards, and talking yeah. precepts and everything, yeah. yeah. But then you said that um, basically they have to change, and this yeah. is what the Qasam also goes into because yeah. like, like um, Apostle um, not Paul, uh, Paul was right, who spoke about that. I think in First Corinthians, I can remember yeah. reading chapter yeah. First Corinthians yeah. about was Paul. Yeah. Paul was speaking about that you have to get the living out of him, you, know? you know, because little leaven leaven the world. Yeah, so, man, this is really, man. Yeah. Yeah. So you have to understand that this Qasam is not like the brothers at the beginning, the feast. No, man, it's so assembly, and you yeah. should check yourself, man, because yeah. as you got the, as you got the, yeah. as a dating, it's like your yeah, eyes, what's the name? No, it's yeah. what you're saying. So that's a dating uh, tool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Very yeah. wise. Yeah, yeah, man, like the one camp, what did I say? 30, I don't know how many marriages in one day, man. Yeah. It was talking about that nonsense, man. Yeah. Making this with peace. Shall be, yeah. in the last days, it shall be given in marriage, loves yeah. yourself. Yeah. 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 Give it into marriage and stuff, exactly. you know, marrying, give it into marriage, you know. And that's what they're doing, man. What kind of you want to but like, like I said, um, you have to understand that you take took the leaven out of your house to clean it up to be ready for the piece of unleavened bread. You should have um, checked yourself on certain things that you did wrong in the past. Yeah, man. And the passage is really good, 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 um, good thing to look back from last year. What did I do last year, man? You know, did I, did I grow? Did I fuck up? And so things like this. Yeah, yeah I mean, to see if you grow or not. Yeah. So we should have really, and even from the point now on, even examine yourself more, man, because yeah. the days are getting heavy and the feelings getting stronger. You feel it. Yeah, man. You feel it, man. Especially during that way. Yeah, yeah man. To try to mess with you, man. Yeah, man. That's things for so, age. Hey, stay sharp on yourself, man. Yeah. You know? That's what I just want to say. Yeah, but that's a good point because I wanted to get into that as well because of, uh, concerning the. Can you get the. Uh, Matthew 5 and 23 yeah. and 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah I was sorry. I want to be you and you uh, to get it and you can go back to Exodus. Yeah. Now, concerning the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread and, and all that stuff. Chapter 5 and verse 23. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar and there rememberest that thy brother had ought against thee. Verse 24, leave there thy gift before the altar and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother and then come and offer thy gift. Yeah, man. So, you know, if you go also on the highs and edges, you're presenting your bodies as a living sacrifice, man. And if you have ought against a brother, you know, if you have something like uh, in your mind and you need to squash something, to speak about something and iron it out. You need to do that, and before you uh, uh, take part of the shop, man, before you go to camp, man, because Satan will jump on you, and he, he can mess you up, man. He can, you know, it's it's just another ingredient to a mega bomb, basically, man. Because, <laughs> yeah, man, it's so true. You know, it, it stays in the back of your mind, and, and one small thing, boom, boom, that that that's that concoction perfected, and then boom. Yeah. You know, but that also can be unto your own destruction. If you flip out in a way that is, uh, you know, totally out of order, you stay upon that demon. You know, the demon, stay, the, the demon stays upon you basically and makes you angry, like, oh, I, I know what that's right. He's wrong, man. What you did is not wrong. Me. If you stay in that spirit, the most of it will boot you out, man. And we've seen people coming in in that spirit and they're gone. You know, hey, I've been saying this, but you know, that's just, you know, for the inside, but hey, they're. There are people that are, that are like that, man. And the most I know that. So we come to offer, you know, until Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shine, you know, you, you, 
you ask for forgiveness, but yet the brother next to you, you can't forgive him. You still angry with him, but you ask him, oh, mashallah, mashallah, you know, you ask for forgiveness, but yet you can't forgive the brother that you can see, man. You know? Um, this is still not the nephew is also talking about the nephew. No, no, no. But the nephew, um, there's, there's what's comparable to the Yahushua gave, where the one guy was coming to the king and asked for forgiveness. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then yeah. it's the same issue. So another one, yeah, man. He passed casting, casting to the prison, man. God, yeah. Oh, yeah. He came and grabbed him by the throat and said, Give me my money that you owe, man. And mm-hmm. what did the king do? You know? He wanted more. The king was like, Give me what you owe plus more. Hey. You know, like, um, but hey, but at the end of the day, you know, if you're a wicked servant, you're going to get uh, your punishment. Man. That's what. So you need to get yourself in check spiritually, get that living out, you know, in, in, in you know, out of your house, but also in your spirit, man. Because yeah. a little living, like the brother was saying, and it was spirit, because I wanted to touch upon that. A little level, level of, uh, of the whole realm. So if you are the one that causes schisms, you know, that blows things uh, up, you know, the leaven, leaven makes the bread rise, man. So if you are that, that, uh, that person, you know, that brings in that, that trouble and you stay upon that and it's going to rise, it's going to be bigger. Something else happens, more and more is being added until it's, you know, getting out of hand, man. Until it escalates, man. So we need to de-escalate and get rid of the problem, man. Because I've been uh, to some things, hey, man, I, I just tell you, hey, man, things are tough upon me. Yeah. You know, making me angry towards you. You, you, you talk to the brother, man. You squash it right there, man. Okay. And you see that the spirit puts you together and you meet these together. Okay. And the most I just squash it. And that's really mercy, man. That's why I say, hey, oh, well, y'all will bash in your side. Why are y'all will bash in your side for the mercy, man? And so, yeah, God. It's like a... Yeah, man. So you see that uh, through that, you should think about how important it is to be. You know, like mind and to, to have no trouble, no no bullshit in your mind, man. Because Satan is right there. You know, Satan devi- uh, desires to, to, to sift you, man. If he sees a little bit, yeah. boom, that's right there. If he smells blood like a shark from miles away, he going to get you, man. It's a matter of time, man. If you don't get rid of that, if you don't get out of that situation, you're going to be devoured, man. And that's also First Peter five and eight. The devil is seeking, you know, you know, like a rolling lion seeking whom he may devour. Man, he's going to the earth. Mm-hmm. This is not a joke, man. But yeah, man. So yeah. yeah. the um, was the disciple who came to uh, Peter, who said to Yahushai, "If a brother, now someone said to uh, Yahushai, if somebody <laughs> transgressed, if he was transgressed, it was Peter, right? Was How many times should I forget it? You know? And it, this goes to show you that." The, the Lord said a number that you can't even really count. You know, yeah. like it's just a number that is so high. So it just shows you that we got to be in one, one, one accord. Because if you're in an army, do you get that in Matthew 18 and uh, kind of, kind of possible. When you're in an army, if we are on the same page, if I say we should have left and you should have right, it, it makes us look weak. It brings yeah. down the, the there's a there's a hole in that, in our uh, attack. You know, so. We have to be on one accord. We have to all have the same mindset, you know, and be the uh, the quarrels needs to be need to be taken out. Mm-hmm. So, so why? So we can do the job of the whole Bashmi Yahushai without the state, without state, man. Yeah, know, man. With, with with purity and sincerity, you know. Uh-huh. And really, also, you know, we talked about certain things. You really feel like the demon losing his grip and being gone, man. Yeah. You know, through Hebrew prayers, you know, brothers making prayers, you, you just even though you might not be perfect in the Rashma Kodash and the Hebrew tongue, but there's power in that, man. Yeah. I'm telling you that, man. You feel the demon like it was all vexed, and I was like, the Spirit told me to be prayers, you know, the forgiveness of sins, that the most I will not hold your sins in, in account, you know, basically give you a clean seat, you know, and that you will not, you know, that the Spirit will always be with you, you know, that the most doesn't snatch the Spirit from you, you know, and, and doesn't cast you away from His presence. You know, both sides of the things, man, to be a better judge and to be, you know, treating brothers the way you want to be treated, etc. Man, those basic things that Yahweh Shai also thought are very uh, important, man. Because if you don't have the basic, you don't have no stability, man. Yeah. Well, you can't read that. Yeah, you're right. Man. Start with 15. Man. Yeah. Then we can jump back to we are the sub. She went another route, but still, you know, it's spirit, man. It's spirit, man.
Matthew chapter 18, verse 15. Moreover, if their brother should trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Verse 16. But if he will Verse 16, but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more, that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. Yeah, man. So if you have a with a brother, you know, you talk with him, you know, cool guy, you, you speak with him about certain things, and man, this going on with me, and you know, demons messing with me, or you know, you know what, what's up with this? You just talk with him. And if he doesn't want to hear you, then you take a, another brother. You know, you can have a council with with uh, two extra brothers, and you know, then you have uh, witnesses basically also, man. You can talk about certain things and and, and squash it right there. You know, it's of course. Or come huh? from verse seventeen. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it unto the church. But if he neglect to hear the church. Then it'll be unto be as a heathen man okay. and a publican. Yeah, man. Let it be as a heathen man and a publican, man. No one, a publican is a, is a tax uh, collector, man. And people ain't like them until this day. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so, they treat you like a heathen and a publican, like a, like a foreigner, basically a heathen, man. Yeah, you know? yeah man. Just, just leave him. You know, if he doesn't want to take heed to uh, the, the correction, which is true to the spirit. Of the Hawa Basham Yoshai, because what do we grab for the correction? This, the, 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 these words are spirit in our life, man. So we, we are using the, the words which are all righteous to guide us, and of course, to the spirit, like I said, also, the, like the scriptures say, these words are spirits in our life. Mm -hmm. But to the spirit, you're being guided, man, what to, what to give, what to say, you know? And if people don't want to take heed into that, Hey, if he doesn't want to listen to uh, to us, the most I uh, is going to be like, hey, then get out of here, man. Because a lot of people, they come in and they be like, yeah, you, you, you're the man of the Lord. But once they get a little bit comfortable or whatever, then you start to get home, man. And that's something that you can't do. You need to be humble and able to uh, you know, uh, accept that you're not perfect, man. You, you, you're going to make mistakes. And when you make a mistake, you need to confess your faults, man. You know, or else if you don't confess your faults, the most are going to look at you like, hey, man, what are you doing? You know? You're out there judging and doing all kinds of things with that. You don't examine yourself. You're not judging uh, your own ways, man. And you need to judge yourself. You need to examine yourself daily, man. Yeah, man, that's what it is. And that's why it's for spiritual man judging all things. Yet himself is not judged. If he sticks to uh, uh you know the scriptures man because if you're doing all wickedness you are in a adultery you're speaking with other men's or wives and you don't know that's wickedness you yeah, ain't don't commit adultery man but you you do things you see younger brothers see you with uh someone's wife you know and they know about it and they know that they you be telling things hey man I don't this and that or whatever or they catch you, whatever you know something like that they don't look at you funny man you're a bad example you know, and then you're going to be judged because you're an adulterer, but you were telling like, hey, you shouldn't commit adultery, but you're doing it yourself. You know, Oftentimes, you turn that person away from the Lord. Yeah, man. You, the person that you transgress through your wickedness, they start to taste it, they start believing in the scriptures. God. They're like, man, this is bull. Yeah, yeah, look, look at him. He don't even trust. There's no weight in it. There's no, there's no, there's no real weight of what he's saying. Why do I? So then you turn your hand from the Lord also. Yeah, man. And you're wicked, man. Yeah, man. And then the blood is on your hands, man. Because First uh, Corinthians eight, you know, uh, speaks about that, man. When you eat uh, uh, certain things and people see you, yeah, you know, with the sacrifice and the you know, the idols and stuff. If, if, if people see you doing certain things, hey, the most I'm gonna look at you, man, because you need to be a better example. You know, to whom much is given, you know, much is required, man. You know. And so we've been given the gift of understanding the oracles of Yahweh by Shemiah yeah. Shai, how he thinks, how he moves, how he operates into this earth in this earth. Yeah. So with that comes great responsibility. Yeah, that's true. Because what? Why? It's like like the scripture say, you, you, you don't put a, a light under a bush. You know? Yeah, man. You know, you, you don't hide what the Lord is giving you. But then also then by by you doing what he told you to do, you become faithful and you can gain others. 
Yeah. I said, like, look, he's so fervent. And yeah. what he's saying is true. He's showing it, he's proving it. You know, okay. and it, it's just beautiful because then you strengthen. So if you follow the Lord and do what he says, you can also bring many to righteousness. But by your wickedness of being hypocrite, you can turn many into wickedness. You know? So it just shows you with much <laughs> is given. This is very serious, man. This is a the, the seat of of being a, a man of the Lord is, is a very serious seat, you know, because you're starting to judge. We often say it when we can't. We're dealing with spiritual matters, man. Mm -hmm. We're dealing with souls and spirits. Yeah, you man. Know? We, we, it's not, not a game. right man, man. Yeah, yeah. Because so like, so what you do, the actions that you, you do can lead somebody to death or to salvation, mm -hmm. man. Uh, so and you're going to be held accountable for that. Too. Yeah, man. You know? Yeah, man. This, uh, let me give a quick reset, man. As you was you were speaking about it. Uh first Peter um three, verse fifteen, I was thinking about the last part of this uh scripture. But sanctify the Lord Yahweh in your hearts and be ready always to give an answer to every man that asketh you a reason of the hope that is in you with meekness and fear, having a good conscience. That whereas they speak evil of you as of evildoers, they may be ashamed that false accuse you, a slash that falsely accuse your good conversation in Yahweh Shai Masayah. So for it is better if the will of Yahweh be so that you suffer for well doing than for evil doing. But I really wanted the, the, the first point in verse 15, you know, uh, that to answer every man that asks you a reason of the hope that is in you, because they see something like so of course they see the spirit and then they come and ask questions. And like the brother said, like, if they see that you're a wicked piece of dog, they're going to be like, huh? You know, they're going to be so disappointed that they might be like, hey, you know what the hell is this, man? To say the, you know, of course, you know, I was messed up to say like that, but that's what they think. Because they see you doing wickedly. You know, so it's a mad disappointment. And, you know, we are just men. We make mistakes, but you shouldn't be like a wicked, uh, you know, a wicked person out there, man. The one of dies of wickedness and, and just following your lust. We need to, uh, you know, nah, so. yeah, man, and, and, and follow righteousness, man, so into the spirit instead of, you know, uh, being so uh, into the into the flesh, man, which reaps corruption, you know. And the people are gonna see you, man. Is it, when you follow this. You, you're saying you're likening yourself onto Yahweh Bashem Yahushan. And, and by doing that, you become a, a beacon of uh, uh, information. When you, there's certain brothers, man, when you talk to them, they got so much information and wisdom and yeah. truth, man. You know, they got so much history and, and how to connect. And yeah, it's, it's amazing. Yeah. It's just a beacon of information. Your person can sit there and just write and listen. Like for hours, like dang, I didn't know these things, you know. Mm -hmm. Every time you meet them, you you they dropping gems on you, you know. And this is the this is the the what I, I imagine how how was when you, when you spoke with him. Remember, they was they said, hey, is look at the authority that he speak with. Yeah, man, he couldn't speak with authority, man. You know, just his wisdom was on another level. Like how he put down and how he spoke with parables, yeah. you know. And this. So, okay, then you had the ones who didn't follow him, but there were many who did. Mm -hmm. They followed him all over the land, you know? Yeah, man. And they even said about the, the apostles, man. Oh, can he speak like this? You know, not even having basically, uh, you yeah. know, uh, the, the, the worldly uh, education, right? Yeah. You didn't even do well, we had letters and stuff, man. Yeah. You know? Because back in the world, you had learned men as well, man. You know, but they saw the disciples and they were like, oh, they're just fishing now, they just this or that. And, you know, even about the oh, isn't this the carpet's son? But, you know, they were just demons, man. A lot of demons that the Lord was recognized, but they were like, hey, you know, and the same thing, you know, the servants, you just you want to say the servants not greater than his master, man. They're going to treat us the same way, man. And apart from that, yeah, how shy suffered the most, man. So the little uh, bit that we, Get in our lives, we need to be able to bear it, man. Because nothing is, you know, you know how shy I said it, man. You know, the butcher yoke upon me, man. Mm -hmm. You know, come on. back to Matthew. Mm -hmm. Matthew chapter 18, verse 21. I'll show you what Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you keep on reading? 10 verse 18. So, okay, Matthew chapter 18, verse 18. 
Verily I say unto you, Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So lovely, man. I want to go to um the verse twenty one, right? Uh yeah, man, yeah, yeah. You're right. Verse, so. verse twenty one. Then he repeated to him and said, Lord, how oft shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him to to seven times? Thou shalt say unto him, I say not unto thee until seven times, but unto seventy times seven. Go on, man. This is seven steps for com completion, basically, man. Because if you go, it's, it's everything. Like even in the, in the world, if you go to uh, like a slot machine and you get seven, 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 what does it represent? Everything that that uh, that the machine holds, okay. you know, is a certain. Uh, uh, it's just everything that you can get out of out of the, that whole situation, basically, out of that machine. And with us, it's, you know, as long as we're alive, you know, we keep the other side going up to the end. But till then, you need to forgive your brother, man, because he. And that's also certain brothers that have a certain spirit which you, you all learn of each other, man. We all have our points that we uh, that we are suffering uh, or that we are struggling with. That's what I want to say. Yeah. And we can learn of each other. Oh, this brother's so patient. He's you know uh, he's this that. But you can learn off of the good points and the the, yeah. the bad ones, man. Yeah. So you know, like, hey, I should have done, done this different. And that's just what it is, man. And that helps you. You know, being yeah. a better judge. Yeah, man. And also yeah. speak from experience. Yeah, man. You get yeah. better, you get better concerning patients and all that, and that type of stuff. You know, like my brother said, judging and uh, uh, certain matters wisely, man. Yeah. Dealing with the brothers that are like a little bit, you know, more timid, yeah. you know, it's, it's crazy, man. I see with it. It's coming to my mind. Like, yeah, man. It's great, man. That's what it is, man. So that is how you learn to be. You know, for the week, I became weak, man. That's what the Apostle Paul said, man. So that already shows you that you have different spirits uh, within the brotherhood, man. You can't be rough with everyone, you know? Being able to, and, and <laughs> that's, that's part of being a soldier, a leader. God, you know, a leader knows how to adapt to all of his soldiers to get them to be productive to what yeah. he wants them to accomplish. Yeah. You know, so if you got many, many of those in your, in your team, you can't, you, you know, there are some men that you can go to and be like, hey, do, 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 do. They're going to be like, okay, I got you. Then you got another one, you got to, you got to, I'm not saying call him, but it's a certain way that you got to approach him. You know, right. certain, certain words you use, or even some dudes are more spiritual, yeah. you know, more spiritual. So you come with him with scriptures, and then you can come with it to another brother and be a little, and use carnal things to break down scriptures mm -hmm. for him, and he's he loving it. Whereas another guy, like, nah, I'd rather be, you know, with the word. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and to, to time, of course, you know, uh, if it's in, uh, basically, if it's their lot to come, like, really into the truth, you can boot it, mm -hmm. then you can still, because the basics are the scriptures anyway, but, you know, what the brother says, Jacob's is very, uh, I see that, uh, visually. Uh, a learner, a visual. Yeah, learner, man. Yeah. Visual person, a yeah. visual being. God. And that's why I was shy. I spoke also with, with parables, man. You know? Imagine this, that, that this happened, such, such happened. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, man. And that's why now we grab movies like, yeah, man, this, that happened. We can put it next to the scriptures, oh, man. God. That's what it is, man. There's nothing new under the sun. God. I just said. Gone. You get the. Yeah, that's the second thing I think. The second thing is the two. Answer the verse one. Thou therefore, for yeah. Verse one. Thou therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in the house Mashiach, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same commit thou to faithful men. Yeah, man. So the things that that you've heard, you know, we we uh, learn through the apostles, man. You know, you need to remember who you learn from, man. There's a certain order with that. And the sound doctrine, there's only one doctrine because belief is one. Explains that the apostle Paul, he wants people, man, like, hey, it's only one doctrine. If one, even an angel comes with another doctrine, hey, if you teach another doctrine, you are cursing yourself, man. You are cursed, man. Because we do the will of Yahweh, Shai, and not of men. You're not seeking to please men. 
But this is all about the spirit of the Heavenly Father and doing the will of the Heavenly Father, right? Okay. So, um, can you read it? Uh, the same commit thou to faithful men. And Salakia, man, if you uh, go to the word commit, which goes to the G3908, it's paratitimi, and put you in the Greek again. <laughs> but um, it goes into a place beside or, or near or set before, and it goes food, i.e., food placed on the table to set before one in teaching. Because this word is likened unto food, man. And, it, and if you go to uh, you know the book of Colossians concerning, um, let me get that, man. Uh, Let's read the script because uh, yes, we can also speak the word also. Everybody got a different dish for for people, Gosh. for the sheep, because everybody teaches teach a different way. So you got your own plate, maybe the same food, the same preset, but you see the difference. You know it's different. You know, you present the difference to the to the, to the brothers, to the club, and, and feed them, man. Gosh. You know, because the word is referred unto bread and also unto milk. You know, and strong meat. So you find the milk as the meat, maybe some some um making an oven, you know. So hey, that's what we do. Yeah. And also uh, if you can go to um the book of Colossians four, mm -hmm. uh it is already there, four and six. Because what you just read, you know, commit that you need to we need to place this pool in front of the, the you know the people, man, so that they can uh, can, can eat. Let's go. Colossians chapter four and verse six. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, that ye may know ye ought how ye ought to answer every man. Come. So if you go to that uh, word, you know. Uh, you always with grace. Grace is, um, you know, uh, that which affords the G5485. Charis. And grace, that which affords joy, pleasure, delight, sweetness, charm, and love, lovingness, grace of speech, goodwill, loving kindness, you know, be apt to teach, skillful, you know, and also have the patience to, to deal with people that ask questions, man. And uh, it goes into of the merciful kindness, which Yahweh, exerting his holy influence upon souls, turns them to Yahweh Shai, Masayah, keeps, strengthens, increases them in the faith of Yahweh Shai, knowledge, affection, and kindles them, put them on fire for this truth. You need to be on fire, that's what the Apostle R says, right? Kindles them to the exercise of the uh, basically, the, the, the Christian verse, but the basically the, 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 the word man is to, to follow your how about Shem Yahweh man, and to exercise and put it in work, man, not just hearing it, to do it, man, be on fire for this truth, but to do it, man, you know. And here it goes into the condition, spiritual condition of one governed by the powers of divine grace. It's all gee, it's governed by the Heavenly Father, man. Again, it's not of you, man, you know. So if you, you go uh, to another uh, season, which is uh, Arteo G741, it goes to, to prepare, arrange with respect to food, to season, make se a savor or savory, you know, to prepare it, make it spice. So this word, how we bring it, Jake, we bring it with flavor, man, you know? And, and if you if you teach uh, if you take a look at these uh, words, there's even a scripture like they were beating like uh, to, to the uh, to the temple to some to that effect. And that's Jay, man. And, I mean, you know, you know with, with, with the beat, man. <laughs> you know that's just Jay, man. Yeah, man. don't suffer the salt. Hey, man, the most high is the ultimate Jay, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Exactly. This is not even my book, man. This is this is for so Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. And if you go to, let me jump down uh, with salt, because this is the point that I also wanted to bring out and, and, and emphasize on. It goes into Halas G two hundred and seventeen, and is um, salt 
with which food is seasoned and sacrifices are sprinkled. Those kinds of saline or saline matter used to fertilize arable land. And arable land is where you put what? You, 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 what are we doing, man? We're going out on the on the islands and hedges. We don't you know, have the plow, man. And if you go, Slavia, you wanted to just bring everything out beautifully, man. And arable goes into. Um, let me check this. Arable land is land fit or used for the growing of crops. You know? So land fit or used for the growing of crops. But the vineyard. Yeah, man. You're sowing those seeds, man. And that's what and what did the Lord say? When we do this work, you and you somebody come up, you put that seed in there. We planted the seed and we we're hoping to reap benefits from it. Mm -hmm. By waking him up, and, and then he started to see, hey, 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 what you guys are saying is real, man. This is what you guys, we, we, the, the Lord, that the Lord is real, man. And then they start to get into the scriptures, and then that that seed grows into what? A plant to flourish. Right. And then that plant, and then hopefully you take his fruit and go on and do the same thing that you did. Right. You know, which is planting that seed and grow, letting it grow. Yeah, and that arable land, you know, that's like a field. And what do you use on the field? The plow, man. Mm -hmm. To put the, the, you know, to put the seeds in, to, to let them grow, man. That's what we're doing. You know, so to go back to the, the word halas, which is salt, and this uh, point tree. Salt is a symbol of lasting concord because it protects food from putrefaction and preserves it unchanged. So we <laughs> If you bring it out the soul, you bring it out the truth 100 percent man. Unchanged. Unchanged. Preserved. You know, preserved <laughs> from purification. <laughs> purification yeah. is when the pus comes in and stuff. Because yeah. man, we, yeah, yeah, man, yeah. man, this all types of shit that these people yeah. out there are teaching for money. Yeah. You know, which mouth needs to be needs to be stopped, man. Yeah. So that's basically the point that I wanted to bring out. So this then goes into wisdom and grace exhibit, exhibited in speech. So you need to bring out this word with with uh, with, with salt, man, to protect it in the most purest form, man, and to protect it from being, uh, you know, all messed up. You know, that's why you need to, uh, you know, get into the scriptures and eat the whole raw, man. Again, it's the real uh, again, uh, food, man. Yeah. But yeah, man, uh, when you when you're serious about it, you take it, and then when you in it and you believe it, you're gonna take it to another level. Yeah. You know, you're gonna want to present your your, your product in the best in the best yeah, way purest form, man. Yeah. So that means, you know, like we're fishermen, man. You know, and when when you go to fish, you want to use the best bait that you can to gain the most fish for that day. Yeah. You know, you know, you don't want to go out there on a boat, sit for six hours and then get nothing. I mean, I mean, if you actually doing it for sustainment, you know, so yeah. it's the truth. And we're doing this to call our people out. Of this world to fishing to bring them out, yeah. you know. So we have to present our package, our 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 wisdom in the best way possible to make it sound pleasing. It's not it's not for uh, to sound pleasing unto the people, but it's to also get them to pay attention. To yeah, man. But that's how Jake is, man. Right? We need to come yeah. with allegories and uh, we yeah. need to bring certain things out with, with you know, with with, with uh, you know. Sometimes you post a joke. The apostle Paul says, man, you need to have fun with this, man. You can't be like. A, uh, 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 and people are going to be like, what's this, man? And Jake is not about that, man. And, you know, this is a book. This is for Jake, man. By Jake. For, for us. This is truly for us, by us, man. Yeah, 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 yeah man. It's a lot of for that, but hey, it is what it is. But for Jake, by Jake, man. You know, this is what it is, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So yeah. you know how Jake speaks. So he, it, it's not like stiff and all that, man. It's, it's with flavor, man. You know? Everything Jake does with salt. Yeah, yeah, man. That's what yeah. it is, man. It's yeah. also where it goes into. But yeah, back into. Uh, I just want to say something real quick because we have to really love this. Man. Yeah. You see it as a burden because if you just read it, I couldn't imagine. Because people see it as, this as a burden. But yeah. You have to do. This should be your, your, your life, man. Yeah. This man. should be your joy, your happiness in life because this word gives you life, man. This will give you hope. This will yeah. can give you salvation yeah. and everything. Yeah, you yeah. know, because only to this world we can make it to the end. Only to this world we get stability. Only to this world we get peace and mind. 
Yeah, man. You know, all the people are bugging out yeah, because man. of the whole uh, C19, yeah. the jabs. Oh, no, no, no. We just seeing them and we laughing, man. We yeah. laughing. Yeah. 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 What they say in the world, when you love what you do, it's not work. Gun. That's right. When you love what you do and it ain't work, and then you do what? You put your best foot forward. Yeah, man. Because you're happy to do it. You do it. But that's what the Lord says, man. Do it without constraint. Mm-hmm. Not yeah, without memory. Yeah. yeah. Without and not for filthy lucre's sake. You know, do it because you can and do it with your with your your full heart. Yeah. Your yeah. Man. Mm-hmm. Well, you got one. Yeah, yeah. man. Just diligence, yeah. you know. But these should be apt to be skillful yeah. and do the thing with benevolence. But we, we went in. I can't go back to that. Yeah. Second Timothy chapter 2 and then read verse 2 again. And the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses, the same come thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. Yeah, yeah. man. So it's true for spread. And how did the, you know, from the, the, the elder of the Bibles down to the elder apostles, the heart, you know, and the other apostles. Now you had other brothers being built up in the spirit. And look, man, camps popping up everywhere, man, to the spirit. You know? So that is what, what this is also speaking about, man. You know, you you you, you can know a brother to the spirit, and that fire is like like in the Netherlands, you have like it goes like a walking fire, basically. Everywhere where fire goes, it, it sets shit up <laughs> in fire, man. It sets it on fire. Yeah. And this is in the spirit, and, and you know, so it's it's a beautiful thing, man. Because this, the more the fire spreads, you know that 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 that, that word that is burning in us, these enemies are being burned with it, and the other ones are kindled by it and being put in the spirit, man. Mm-hmm. And that's a beautiful part because this this fire, it burns our enemies, and it, and, and the ones that need to hear it, they're being quickened by it, man. Like some, yeah, man, and, and it purifies them, man, because mm-hmm. the gold is tried in the fire. An acceptable man in the furnace of adversity, you know. So you have to go through that fire anyway, man. You know, it might be a little bit in the beginning, like ah, but later you start to accept it, and it's going to be joyful, man. Just with the, the chastisement, you're going, you're going to realize that hey, the most I is doing this because you know, you know, he wants me to be better, man. Yeah. You know, so yeah, man, come. First three, come to King Ruin, verse three. Thou therefore. Endure hardness yeah. as good soldier of Yahushua and Moshiach. Yeah, man, the word endure goes into uh, Kakapoteo in G25 or 53, and it goes into suffer, endure evil, hardships, troubles to be afflicted, you know? So that's what it is, man. It's not going to be a gatewalk, as they say. It's going to be, a, a, you know, we need to enter to the straight gate, man. It's going to be hurtful, but we are being, you know, of uh, fashion. And to uh, uh, someone that is acceptable in the eyes of Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, but going to a place, man, you ain't gonna enter up, uh, enter into the kingdom in, in some other way, man. It's only one way, man. The narrow gate. Yeah, man, that, 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 that narrow path, man. The eye of people. Yeah, man, yeah, man, that's <laughs> what it is. Gone, Also, to, to add to the point with the way and do it. It also means um, from the old French, from etymology, endure it, make heart. Yeah, man. Because you're getting hard against the trust tradition of hope. Man. Yeah, man. You know, you still go into something, every time I show you, you know, you endure it, you get harder, man. Yeah. You know, it's like, it's like, exactly. It's like um, the, uh, the brother tells about many good examples. You know the type of cloth from these, um, I think these Chinese mm-hmm. martial arts. Yeah, yeah, martial arts, exactly. They let that. That's yeah. Cool. Every time it breaks, yeah. you know, goes through suffering, yeah. it gets stronger, man. Yeah. And at the end, you got the yeah. 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 yeah, even with your hands, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The the hands. bone density, everything is, mm-hmm. it's, it's you no, know, but like, um, I remember I had to do one job where I had to like put the, the, the fence in, Gun. you know, and my, my hands were so raw yeah. after like two hours, but then I did it for like three months after. Three months, I can feel it anymore. Yeah, man. You know, so it's the same thing with this. Mm-hmm. The more you go through afflictions, the better. And then you, somebody like, oh man, I can't believe you go through that. Like, yeah. It's nothing, man. It's nothing. It's nothing. Yeah, yeah, man. It says even here, to make make hard, hard and be tolerant. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be tolerant, and gonna go up. Maybe yeah, man. Shit, brothers, look at you like me. What? Yeah. And you're like, yeah, I'm gonna stay in business, man. Just, just, yeah. just, 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 just
and and I always say it, the comfort of knowing that if we're willing to take three steps towards him, he's gonna completely put a hedge around us and protect us. Yeah. You know, and that faith yeah. is it's just it's so beautiful. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because you see these people like if they bugging out, they have yeah. nothing to rely on. On the brink of suicide, or if they didn't commit suicide, they're on the brink of suicide. Or they, but then they turn it to drugs. Yeah, man. To numb the pain, to hide yeah, from the, the trauma. <laughs> and they wake up and they're still right back in it again. Yeah, man. It's just a temporary thing. Like, yeah. if the, the whole place on fire, you stick your hand in the, uh, your head in the sand, yeah. you're still in, that, in the midst of the fire, man. Yeah, man. So that's what they're doing with these stoves because these these youngins are out there. No, they can't go to school. Now they're like loosening up a bit, but they're going to close it down because that's what the devil's plan is anyway. And they using the drug use with the youth went up, man, skyrocketed, man. Yeah, man. So and um, uh, yeah, basically, uh, yeah, you can continue. I was thinking about something, but I forgot, man. It's gone. No, 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 no. It's not about when you said something, then something popped into my mind. You know. So Second Timothy two verse four: No man, their Lord, entangle himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. Again, chosen him, yeah, no. him to be a soldier. Exactly. And the word there goes into uh, Stratiotis, a uh, soldier. Let me see. In verse 3, uh, verse 3, or oh, did you jump to 4? I'll jump to 4. Yeah, can you read 3 again? I was already thinking, like, I want to go to verse 3. So, so I can see 2 and 2 and 3. No, therefore, in due hardness, as a good soldier of the house Yeah, man, this word goes into uh, Stratiotis, G 4757, and it goes into uh, a cons uh, or a soldier, you know, uh, metaphorically a champion of the cause of the house shy Masyam, man. You know, so if you're a champion, you're going to be uh, cutting things off that are bad for your for your health that are bad for your uh, uh basically well being yeah man so you can be more stronger uh, man yeah. yeah man so you could uh have a greater chance of, of being uh you know the winner the champion and endure it to the end man to the finish line man okay. like in uh first Corinthians uh nine in the correct and twenty four like you know you need to be uh keep on your body like the apostle Paul was likening uh this truth unto what these people were doing. And that's how you see Jake, man. They take what Jake liked, just like nowadays the movies and basketball and stuff. And back in the days, no new thing under the sun. The Apostle Paul was likening this, uh, you know, this, this race, this truth, unto a race, man. You know, you need to put on your body, you know, keep things under, uh, uh, in, in, in control, man. Certain things you need to cut off. And you can't be uh, eating all types of bullshit when you need to be your boxer or when you're a, big, or you're a runner, or, you know, you need to. Give your, your body the food that it needs to put, to, to give the, the right, uh, uh, basically, yeah, man, the right, uh, how do you say that? In the Dutch, it's the testosterone, you know, the, the right, you basically, you get the right results, man. And that's basically what you need to be doing. You're not going to feed your body those types of nonsense, you're going to be sluggish and all that, that man, no, man. You're going to cut certain things out, out of your diet so you can be fitter and, you know, you know gone, yeah, man. This is Book of Sabbath 37 and 27. My son, prove thy soul in thy life and see what is evil for it and give it up that unto. Yeah, man, it's, it's a good one, man, because if you know that certain uh, things are bad for you and they're going to be like, you're going to be like, hey, man, if, if I go with this, it might give me off balance. Mm -hmm. you know? If you know that you have a weakness concerning, uh, let's say you had, you had trouble with, uh, with, with smoking, and you go live around people that smoke a lot. The flesh is going to be, demons are going to be whispering in your ear like, hey, man, maybe you should try it too, man. Ain't that bad, you know? Uh -huh. If you know that that situation, that environment is bad for you, don't seek something that, uh, don't seek that as your your house or as, you know, if you have friends that do that a lot, hey, you need to make a choice, man. Because yeah. you live... According to Yahweh Hashem Yahshai, right? So you want to cut certain things off, man. That's basically what it is. When I mean, you see that certain things are evil for you, not good for you, hey, make a choice and choose the right thing that, you know, the spirit 
my deal with you, you, you grow in the spirit, man. That's the number one priority, man. Serving Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, man. And not following after the flesh. Because that's what the world is doing. And guess what? where they're heading? If they continue, if, if they're Jake and they repent, the most I can have mercy upon them and, 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 and get them out of this hell. But if you stick to the, this, this wicked system, you follow after the lust of the flesh, you don't want to be in order, you're going to die, man. Exactly. But back to the word soldier, it uh, goes into a um, uh, camper out, a camper out, i.e. common warrior, literally or figuratively, soldiers so or a camper out. What are we doing? You look out there sitting on camp, man. You know, you keep it first four. Take Timothy 2 to 4. No man that water entangleth himself with the affairs of this life. That he may please him who has chosen him to be a soldier. God. So that is what you're doing. You're not going to, you know, he that finds this life or, you know, shall lose it. And if you lose your life, this whole world, then you really find your life, man. Because then you follow after the Yahweh Bashar Yahushan. Because the ones that are like, ah, I don't want to be career, you know, my family, oh, uh, my girlfriend, oh. You know, uh, I'm a good soccer player or a basketball player, you know. Guess what's going to happen, man? Break your leg. The Lord take you out. Hey, the, hey, the Lord can break you out. Break your, break your legs, whatever. Or he can break your freaking neck. Yeah. You know, yeah. you don't want to walk for me, he ain't going to walk nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, the most I can jack your ass up, man. Yeah. I'm joking. Shouldn't play with every flesh and tempt him. Don't tempt the Lord, man. Don't tempt God with Bashan Yahushan, man. And if you go into this word soldier here, in 2 Timothy 2 and 4, let me see. Uh, and also you see here that, you know, you're at war, man. This is a spiritual war. You know, we are warring. So here it goes to Strabo and Lecheo, and G47 and 58. It means to gather, collect an army to enlist soldiers. You know, so of the commander, this is what we're doing, man. I mean, you jump down to the Strongs, it goes into, um, uh, in its original sense, to gather or select as a warrior, i.e. enlist in an army, choose to be a soldier. So we are out there, you know, when people hear the truth, they're being kindled, and you are desire being, uh, you know, pulled into back into the fold, man. You know, or they join camps, and that's how camps grow or starting to pop up. Uh, in uh, different places around the globe, man. Everywhere we return now, it's, there's starting to be camps. Your Spanish-speaking camps, you know, uh, the German, Dutch, you know, Papimento, you know, make videos for the islands. Mm -hmm. Jamaica, Italy, you know, brother wakes up in Finland, Nigeria, you know, different parts of, uh, of yeah, man. Hey, Costa Rica. The most I is, 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 is uh, no, to the, yeah, man, to the yeah, apostles, man. to the apostles, you know, brothers are being enlisted, man, into the army. This is not like con army. This is spiritual warfare, man. You know, that's what it is, man. But yeah, man. Uh, oh, you had some more? Uh, just the Ephesians, more the spiritual warfare. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then jump to the Exodus, then I'm going to go to uh, uh, Ezekiel 9 and then uh, close it off. <laughs> Six. In verse, uh, let me say 10. Find me my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to stand against the wise of the devil. Yeah, man, you, you need to be strong in this, man. Because this is uh, like with the Passover, demons start to mess with you, you know. Demons will pop, jump into your mind and make you want to fall asleep, make you want to, uh, you know, think. All types of wickedness concerning your brother, because why? We all we got, man. All we have is the brother. And all we have is is you know these like-minded men. Now it's how we like my righteousness, you know. So Satan ain't going to really fuck with the people in the world. He's going to come after us, man. And these devils are coming after us. Why? We ain't like uh, you know this. Uh, we don't have like, you know, basically we have a lot of people watch us, but they don't show us that, yeah. you know, but we're not on the television like that, you know, and you have a lot of wickedness that they just let 
I got pedophilia, this is just on, on YouTube, naked shit, children doing crazy stuff. That's all good. All these uh, uh, challenges with these, these, yeah, like a dog who's going back to some witchcraft. They all do that. Children start to get nightmares and all that, man. That dog looked like that female in the freaking ring, man, in the, the, the movie. You know, but that's what I'm there, you know? Pedophiles can, can, can do their thing, but we read the Bible, then it's a problem because this is your downfall. Being prophesied unto you. That's why, man. Okay? Mm-hmm. Verse 4. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers, and against the rulers of darkness, of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Yeah, man. That's basically showing you that you know these people are the general of these disobedience, following after Satan, man. Now, 2 Thessalonians 2 and 8 and 9, man. These people are, are, are wicked and they are going to the groves, you know, slicing up, uh, you know, they're doing their things. I don't want to get into details before they say, oh, you said this while wow, they have videos. And they make movies about it. That's okay. When we condemn it, then it's a problem, man. So that's, just, that's how we see that these people are a nation of hypocrites, man. They, they're a bunch of, man, they're weak people, man, and wicked. You know, this is a bad combination. But other than that, you know, yeah, man. Other than that, you know, you see that um, this is a spiritual warfare. They they send they casting spells, you know, through your television, also through their witchcraft. You know, uh, Isaiah forty seven speaks about how these demons, how they set up Babylon and different other countries, man, totally in witchcraft, man. Even uh, you know, when you go to the Middle East, what do they have? Castles and in their palaces, all types of deities, man, all types of uh, gods that they worship because demons are attached to that, and they then they can turn powers, and you know, that's how they rule, man, to the left hand side. But it's only for, for a short time because then, you know, Satan be like, hey, man, and then be gone, and his family, you know, and we agree, like the brother, you know, Kazak says, you know, we are long term investors, man. This is a, the best investment that you can invest in, man. If the most high has chosen you, of course, you know, this is the best thing to hold on to, man. Because this is for the long, this is forever, man. This is leading into everlasting life. You might be able to fly and talk to animals. Animals are going to be in check again because the animals ain't supposed to be eating you behind up, man. It's about you having everything in suggestion, man, concerning the animal kingdom, you know, and these 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 heathen nations, man. We're not supposed to be on the ground like servants, man. But this is only because we turn our back to the heavenly father and we need to learn so that when the most high uh, you know brings the kingdom, the Halabashan Yaushan, then we won't really enjoy it, man, because we went to pain. And when you went to pain, when 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 beautiful things come, you're gonna be really, you know. Be great, uh, grateful and really be in peace and really be uh, uh, seeing and understanding the greatness and the, the, the beautifulness, basically, if that's work, <laughs> you know, that the Heavenly Father brings, man. That's beautiful, man. Because if you get it like that, and that's in second as a seven, you ain't going to get it like that. Exactly. We need to go through these straight and vain things. This is the portion of Israel, man. But the Most High is doing this to, to, to make it more beautiful, man. That's what it is, man. And we need to just suffer and be tough, man. And then we can have a free, hey, man, y'all, this is how we're going to get there. And it's going to be beautiful, man. Brothers, you hey, man, man. You can take, take a look back at the things that we went through and, hey, man, being in total righteousness, no adulterous eyes, no wicked thoughts about brothers, no demons jumping on you. Demons are going to fuck with these people, man. Yeah. That's going to be beautiful. And that, then, that, Going to be like in this case, like today, like a worshiping them and getting help. If these demons are going to turn around and fuck them up as well, man, in this world, man. And they're going to get extra in the, in the life to come, man. For us, man. God. But the Exodus, can you uh, go to uh, Exodus 12, verse uh, 13? Yeah, 13. Yeah, 13. Um, Exodus chapter 12, verse 13. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses where ye are. Um, okay. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. 
gone. So the most I, you know, he, he sent the destroyer, man. And, you know, the destroyer is the Lord, man. The heavenly father's son, y'all shine, man. And you can read about that in the book of uh, Wisdom of Solomon 18, man. So you we'll already see that God, this Wisdom of Solomon chapter 18 and verse 15. Thy almighty word leap down from heaven out of thy royal throne as a fierce man of war into the midst of a land of destruction. Yeah, and so who was the word? You know, that's your house shine, man. Yeah, you can read that in John 1. Because it's the fifth. Come yeah, you can keep Verse 16, and brought, and brought thine unframed commandment as a sharp sword and standing up filled all things with death. <laughs> yeah, man. So you see that, hey, with when you how should I stand yeah, there, right? Right? Man, you got it, I was just thinking to myself, like, dang, boy. Yeah. When you how shot, hey man, when, when the heavenly father sets a judgment, you know, it's is 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 no more gloves, you know, on. It's gonna be total destruction and annihilation, man. It's a lot of bloodshed, and that's gonna come again. But you need to be praying that that's not you on the end of that sword, man. Because you know, the Arab design is gonna endure it to the end, but this shows you that uh, the Heavenly Father wasn't playing around, man. Pharaoh got smoked down, and his, uh, his people got destroyed, man. Mm -hmm. now, if, you, and if, you know, if you can say that the Lord is not like that, look at the flood. Yeah, man. Look at the flood. He, he drowned yeah. everything on the earth, man. He drowned it, suffocation with water, man. John. And you, it shows you that the Lord is terrible, man. John. And when his judgment comes out, he comes out with brutality. And, and, and when you, you, you're going to you know, <laughs> you're going to know that it was him. You're going to know. Yeah. You know, it's not going to be with no question of a doubt. And just like those Egyptians, they knew. Yeah. That's why after that happened, with the they get out of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know, man. They knew. Yeah. They knew. That was power. That was powerful. Even in the time of, uh, of Joshua, when people were like, hey, you mm -hmm. heard, they heard about what the heavenly father did for you. They were like, hey, he missed your job, man. That's what it is, man. The heavenly father is melting. I heard yeah. about the judgment that happened to yeah, the king. Joshua judges, you know, you read about certain uh, things, man. And, hey, these heathen nations, man, they were scared, man. They were scared. They're going to be scared again. Even the chariots are about to Even of our nations. Yeah, of course. Trembling when Samuel came to the village, to their village, the elders of the village yeah. was like, did you come in peace? Yeah, or yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's also, so sorry, that's something else. Also with the angel, man. Uh, with uh, Samuel, you know, he saw, he saw the angel uh, with, with the sword out there. Mm -hmm. so, that's the Joshua. Things also, he was a yeah, the swarmless and the yeah. songs that hey, I had to go ready. And then, yeah, man, and then it's like, yeah, that, what you know, yeah, man, yeah, man that, that shows you that well, that was one angel who yeah. was going to say that because these chariots are now popping up and all this, this uh, Eden Musk, because that's what they call it, <laughs> Eden Musk, mm -hmm. you know, from Tesla. Mm -hmm. And he, you know they say, "Oh, that's his satellites and stuff." But hey, man, the chariots are the, the vehicles of uh, the heavenly father. It's man, it's angels, also, man. So that's one angel, and our own people who were fierce warriors back in the days, they were even like, "Hey, do you come in peace?" Let alone when the whole thing, the thousands upon thousands of angels are coming back with the Lord, man. It's going to be a horrible day for a lot of people. Yes. For us, it's going to be like scarcity. Be like, hey, you know, let me go see y'all shine, but you're going to be hoping you, you're, you're going to be right. good. Yeah, you're going to be hey. on the right side of the store. Yeah, mm -hmm. man. You're going to be not on the point yet. Yeah, yeah. Man. that's right, man. In the moment of people don't know if you if you heard me or not. Yeah, yeah. Because I think I even have fucking. When you're going to see y'all shine, man, in the full force, full glory. Yeah. Hey, yo, you're going to drop that if you know what you man. Yeah, yeah, man, because the, it says the yeah. righteous shall be scarcely saved. It's going to be a portion. Also, when you look, looked it up, it's not going to be like hey, uh, like an easy thing. Of course, if, if he comes and he beats you up, if he, then you know you, you, you're going to be saved, man. You know, because I, you know, brothers also have dreams. It's, hey, it's crazy dreams, man. Until like, the last second, it's going to be like, hey, am I going to be in a good case? Yeah. You know, of course, the most I can guide you to certain things. That's that's true, man. 
But yeah, he needed endurance until the end, man. Yeah, man. But um, basically, uh, I wanted to get to the jump down uh, to verse 21 okay. and 22. Yeah. To the to 23. So 21 to uh, 23, then I want uh, uh, Ezekiel 9 and uh, 4, and then uh, It's Exodus chapter 12, verse 21. Then Moses called for the elders of Israel and said unto them, Draw out and take your lamb according to your families and kill the Passover. And, uh, ye, yeah, uh, uh. and ye shall take the bunch of hyssop and dip it in the blood that is in the basin. Um, and strike it and strike the litter and the two side posts with the blood that is in the basin. Yeah, so we need the marker doors. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is the post. Okay. And none of you shall go out the door of this house until the morning. Yeah, man, because the, the destroyer it was out there till the morning doing the doing the damage, man. Murdering the first boy, uh, uh, killing the first boy is not murder. Yeah. This is righteous, this is a kill. Yeah. <laughs> and the first one of the, you know, the animals, the most I was doing, uh, one, uh, a terrible thing with this man. Yeah, yeah, man. And it's gonna come back even worse, man. Yeah. Um, strange apparitions, everything. The most I gonna bring place to this earth. You're not gonna be thinking like, hey, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna survive. People are gonna be scared, man. The ones that are, that are in the world, they're gonna be like, hey, I'm a, I'm gonna die. It's going to be horrible, and most is gonna stretch it, man. You're not gonna be like, oh, it's gonna be bad. You're gonna suffer, man. And we smack you. We got a little glimpse of it with the mice uh, invasions in, in Australia. Have you seen this? No, oh, man. They have plague of mice. It looks so many mice. It look like the like the the earth is moving, man. Crazy. That's how many out there locusts and everything. Man. Yeah. So and my state when they urinate and 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 they hear the sound, yeah, it's, it's, it's driving them crazy. There, it's driving them crazy. They can't sleep. They they're everywhere. Good. People getting bitten. Good. And, and we we just see a little glimpse yeah. of them, man. Yeah. The Lord got more. Yeah. He man. got more than <laughs> terrible things, man. Yeah. You know. The world, hey man, the world could be shut down just if the Lord turns down the temperature and he, he lets it rain like salt and then turns down the temperature and everything's like slippery. Well, the whole world stands still. You cannot go anywhere, man. Right? It's, it's done, but most of the hey man, surgery league is going to be perfect, man. I mean, you're also going to be perfect, man. You know, yeah. think about Australia. They had first fire and all get the mice, man. Yeah. Remember man. the fire, man? The fire was yeah, yeah, the man. Yeah, man. The brothers from uh, Usher was still in the, in the, in the, still in the uh, video, man. It was crazy. Yeah. Crazy, man. Yeah. yeah. God. But going back to verse 23, for your hunger will pass through, pass yeah. through to smite the Egyptians. Mm -hmm. And when he seared the blood upon the lintel. From the Lord, yeah. Yeah, God. And on the two side posts, the Lord will pass over the door and will not suffer the destroyer to come in unto your houses to smite you. Yeah, man. So it's all in our desire, So if you did not look, it's not only that. Oh, I need to mark my door. You need to have faith because if you don't believe, you ain't, ain't going to do it. Mm -hmm. So the ones who did it, guess what? You're going to be smitten. You know, the most are going to going to jack you up, man. So you're gonna lose your son. You're gonna be in a difficult situation, then, man. And in in this uh, case, when the with the time that's ahead of us, Jacob's struggle. Mm -hmm. If you don't abide by Yahweh Basham Yahushai's law, you're gonna be smoked and you're gonna be put to death, man. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Because now the angels they see the mark upon you because if you are in the truth, the most high gonna be like you're gonna be, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it, you're gonna make it, you're gonna die because you ain't listening. You ain't listening, you want to be with it, you're going to die. So when the angel comes to see that mark upon you, does the gate go to that? Yeah, this is uh, Ezekiel chapter 9, verse 4. And the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahushai, said unto him, Go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem, and set a mark upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. Yeah, my son. So we are spread on the four corners of the earth, and everyone that has 
then uh, chose black faith and how Bashan is doing his best you know, to, 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 to uh, please the heavenly father. Mm -hmm. They're going to be protected, man. You know, just, they're going to get that mark. And the mark in this uh, uh, verse, this verse is uh, Tawar in the Hebrew, and it means to be exempt from judgment, man. You, can read, you want to read it? Yeah, man. Out of the blue there. So, yeah, so that's, that's what it is, man. So the angel uh, and, and the, in, the, in that day, you know, Hey, the election shall, shall do some damage as well. But hey, you are gonna go to different you are gonna go to different parts of the earth to get the, the ones that, that need to be uh, saved, man. You know, and if, if they had that mark, you know, the, the the people that have the mark will be exempt from judgment, man. You won't get the the, the, the judgment that the other people are gonna that the other people are gonna receive, man. Uh -huh. yeah. But basically, uh, yeah, with that we can end, end, the, end the thing, man. Was mm -hmm. a little bit, little bit more in there. Or, uh, yeah, basically the point was made because you mm -hmm. can go on with, with the eldest, like ugly, young and old, you know. But that's just what it is, man. Everyone doesn't matter if you're young, old, because it's all judgment. It's all according to uh, what you have done, man. Mm -hmm. You know. So, so basically, uh, with that, we would like to give all praises to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahushai. Bashan, Bakapadash, Bashan, Bakapadash. Double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, the rule well and the thought of the truth, among many other things. And so they told us to say, I come out there, you know, that I watch you, man, and that I have faith in Yahweh Bashan, Yahushai. Shalom. Shalom.